Welcome back to the channel, and today we are continuing Crashlander survival, going back into the mine of no return. Even though I have returned, but uh, it just takes a really long time to return, okay? But uh, I've read through the comments trying to figure out what was I missing, and I think I have some guidance. Like, I don't know what I was missing, but um, I guess there's a pathway that I did go down, but not hard enough. I got I gotta go harder down this path. Um, but I got a couple of hints uh, that are pretty might be pretty useful. So if I drop this, I'm trusting you guys on this one. Apparently, I don't have to carry these things around as their full form. If I put it on a lift and I click this delete button, it should go to my inventory according to the comments. If this is a troll and this gets like deleted, deleted, I'm gonna be uh, disappointed in you. But I think I don't have any reason not to trust you guys. You guys have come through so far. All right, here we go. Delete. Oh, the fact that it gives me a prompt makes me even more worried. Oh, look at that. Here we go. So that's going to save on weight a ton. Uh, another thing you guys are saying is I should probably mark my way through, like mark where I've been and stuff in the cave, which it does make sense. I was, I, it, it, okay, it makes sense. I should have been doing that, all right? I'm going to spawn in the wood bench because I don't, I don't I don't think I'm actually going to do this. I think I have my own system, but I just wanted to see. Apparently there's torches. Is this the torch? Torch times 10. You need coal and a wood block. You get 10 torches out of 15 coal, I guess. Wait, no, okay. That's pretty cool. Gives off the light, turns into a wall torch when you rotate it. Interesting. Maybe I should do it. How, how many can stack? Oh, and another thing, apparently there is a toilet after all, and I just didn't see it. It's in, it's not in the seat area. You can see here's all the seats, no toilet. So I thought there's just no toilet, but I guess if you scroll, is it parts? It must be in, wait a minute. I don't, I'm not seeing it. <gasps> it's in the metal bench. All right, I gotta. I got to build myself a toilet. All right, so we've got one, two, that is 20 torches, and that stacks one stack. That must be a full stack, right? <gasps> can we, I'm going to, I, wa I just want to see how many you can stack. If you could do 50 in one stack, I'm taking 50 torches with me. Wait, wait, let me put them down and see what they actually look like. All right, ready? Ooh, wait, can you not, wait, Q change. <gasps> Whoa, that's cool. Oh, and if you put them on, do you put them like that or like that? I kind of wish you could rotate them because I want them to point in a direction as well. I mean, I could do it like on the ground. Wait a minute. Oh, I can't actually rotate it on the ground either. Q and E, Q just does this. Okay, so these can't point in particular directions, unfortunately. All right, here we go. Collect another one. 30? They're, they're stacking like crazy. All right, there must be at least 50 then. Oh, and then do I get my toilet? Yes. Where the toilet is back in action. All right, I am going to keep both seats no, I'll put the other seat back. Oh, wait, I have the drill blueprint. I should make that now. How do I make a drill? I need a regular drill. I don't even have a regular drill. 20 metal block. Hmm. Advanced tool handle component. All right, let me get these, though. 40, 50. All right, I'm going to craft one more set just to confirm that 50 is the maximum stack. All right, ready? There we go. Now we have an additional stack. So you can stack 50. That's awesome. I love that. All right, so we need a drill. Electric motor component, advanced tool handle component. So components are over here. I'm glad I brought all my workbenches with me. Advanced tool handle component, uh, metal block to electric. This is mostly not bad. All right, I can build the drill and then I need this thing. I need my, oh, I just used my metal block too. So now I need metal block two. Let's craft some more metal block two. I'm just only going to craft one at a time. All right, now we can craft the advanced tool handle component. I need more metal block two. Oh boy. Well, let's make some more metal block two. All right, now I can craft this. That's it. <gasps> that wasn't too bad. I actually had everything. All right, and the handheld drill is crafting. Can't wait to see how that feels. All right, I'm going to put my axe and my pickaxe in this chest that has like my important stuff in it um, because I have the battery versions that are much more efficient now. Here is the drill. Let's take a look. All right, I'm going to definitely test it out in the mine. Um, but I'm just clearing out some more inventory slots. I think I got everything I need now. I got food. 
I've got a drink. I'm going to put my paint tool in there too, because I don't need that. I'm just going to free up as many inventory slots as I can. And I'm going to carry some more batteries on me. You know, what? I could probably just take those batteries right out of here. There we go. We are at 567%. Perfect. All right. I got ammo. I got batteries. 60 batteries. I got food. I got drink. I believe it is time to go and see if I can find my way around to the place I've never been. All right, here we are. My first test with the drill. Here we go. Not bad. Is it really, that didn't give me anything? Maybe I should do the ones that are like in the walls. Oh, right, well, let me try this one here. There we go, and then, not too bad. Still gotta do the refine thing though. Have we used a battery? We've used one battery to get through that. It is pretty expensive as far as battery consumption goes in general. Um, so here's here's the thing. I kind of feel I kind of I kind of want my pickaxe and stuff now because I don't want to have to use batteries. It's some stuff is just re like if I get those if I want those ones they're gonna be super easy and quick to get. I don't even really need the battery. So I'm gonna bring my pickaxe and stuff. Actually, just my pickaxe because. I don't think I'm gonna need a saw blade down here. All right, I remember the timestamp in the video. I looked at what a couple of comments said that there was a split. I went right at first, but I should have gone left. I did go left at some point, but apparently I didn't, I didn't continue the way I was supposed to. Uh, I think, yeah, this just merges up. Actually, this is a shortcut right here. I'm actually gonna take a look at these, how, the, how do these feel? Yeah, just two. Yeah, no, no use wasting a drill on that stuff. Wait, raw metal? Did that not look black to you, like coal? Why am I getting raw metal from a coal node? Like this right here is clearly copper, right? Yeah, this one has to be copper, good. If we got not copper from that, that would be crazy. I mean, to be fair, we got this from that, which is not copper. I'm just gonna mark, this is the shortcut. I never see this on the way back, really. We got a shortcut right here. All right, so I have gone in this direction. There's another split. I'm gonna put another... There's another one down here now. Going in this direction. There's a keep out sign down there. Not gonna go down there again. This is not that area yet. Ah, oh, yeah, we're not even close. We are not even close to where we need to be. We gotta get close to the, uh, the drill site, I think. Ah, oh, no! No, no! No! No, 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 no. Don't worry. This is what the toilet's for. Right. Come on. Right there. Perfect. Oh, my head headlamp is glitched. I think uh, ragdolling glitches out the headlamp. All right, all fixed. Just gonna reapply it is all. Okay, here is not it yet. I'm gonna go to the right direction. Um, Here, let me just mark. This is the way back. I'm gonna put two down to mark like that's the way. This is like a, an important part right here. That's how you get back home. Wait, wait, have I tried, have I broken through here? There's totally something behind here. All right, that's what the drill is going to be used for. Oh my goodness. There's got to be something back here. I'm just going. I can't see nothing. Whoa. I don't know if I've been in here. I'm a little bit concerned about the stuff I left behind. I don't want to leave uh, too much laggy things behind. All right, I don't think I've been in here before. But I am just going to mark. Uh, how do I mark it? I don't really know. I don't really know what the ideal marking strategies are. Oh. Oh. Ew. Yeah, I've definitely been in here. All right, we're back in familiar territory. That was just essentially like a very tedious shortcut to take. It was a long cut the first time you go through it, but once you carve your way through, it is then becomes a shortcut. Oh. I have gone a definitely a different way. Here's the building. Okay, well now I know how to get to the drill site from the building. No problem. Oh, someone mentioned a fluorescent light bulb in here. I don't know. I like I was watching back the timestamp and I couldn't see what they were talking about, but I guess up here there's like is there a fluorescent light bulb to take? I'm not seeing a fluorescent light bulb anywhere. Oh yeah, I'm not seeing a fluorescent light bulb in here. I guess not all comments can be accurate. Oh, there's a wheel rim. I missed that last time. That's worth taking. All right, well, can I find the fluorescent light bulb? Uh, here's the drill site. 
So, some... Wait. Did I go up here? I've been up there. Somewhere... Now I, I gotta find the split. Is this the split here? This might be it right here. Hold on. I gotta look at it from the split. Yes, this is it. Okay, so apparently I gotta go this way. And I know that I've gone this way once, but I don't know what I missed. Maybe I just, maybe I started going this way, and then I was like, nah, that's not the way. Maybe I turned around. Uh, I definitely, I recognize this. Yeah, I re like this one with the hole, I remember seeing that one. Although there's a couple of them around, so I could be getting confused. But I think, I think this is the way I, I need to go now. I hear water dripping. Yes, I've been here. Uh, I'm loading something. This is, in my video, there's a point I remember where I said there's water over in that direction, but I can't get there. And then, I think what happened, there's like a path over here. Is it this? I broke through here. I went up there. That's, that's where I got off track. I went that way and circled back around. I needed to not do that. Okay. Everything makes sense now. I know how I got so lost. Where's this going? This looks cool. Big pillar right here. I hope the cave <laughs> isn't like... Now into the bigger part of the cave. You were in the small part earlier. Oh boy, it's it's just going though. We're just... We're going... It's going down. Oh, we're going down. It's getting foggy. We got light. Okay. A lot more rock. Alright, looks like a lot of nothing on that side. So we gotta go this direction. Let's see. Whoa. What's this? Okay, it's like a vent thing or something. Alright, well we're in... Into new territory now. Ooh, loot. What do we got? We got coal, a bearing. I'm, I'm done with the scrap seeds. Ooh, I haven't seen one of these in a while. Some chemical. I'm gonna run out of inventory space so quick, I bet. Oh, big building. We got a big building. Don't wanna miss anything though. Looking for any blueprints, loot. The blueprints can be hiding. What happened here? Everything is falling to pieces. Can I take this? I cannot take this. I can break this. Entrance, oh. How can a structure that is so well built collapse onto itself like this? Um, is it well built? <laughs> Things don't add up. Forterra has a mining base and it was somehow destroyed. Or what happened here? Or rather, who did this? Or who? Hank, did you do this? Get revenge for being kidnapped? Oh, there's an entrance down there. Definitely got to go into the entrance. Ooh, nice find. I think. I don't know. I already have one. Whoa. Oh, I could just take these blocks, I bet. <gasps> Studded metal block. Look at that wheel. This is how my inventory is going to fill up. We got a switch. We got a controller. We've got wedges. We've got wedge two by... Oh, that's going to fill up the inventory. There's so many different pieces I'm picking up right now. This vehicle was wedge gang though. And we got polished metal block. We got these studded metal blocks. There's a piston in there. <gasps> Score. I'm so glad I dug this up. Oh, I got a new wedge type. See, I'm filling out my inventory so quick. I'm probably going to get rid of like the... I don't like the set of metal blocks in general. But once my inventory fills up, set of metal blocks going to be first to go. All right. How are we looking? I'm full. See, this is like uh, the draggable wedges. We know that that's coming with the with the update, with the actual chapter two update. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to hold on to these wedges like this. Uh, so my inventory is full. I'm just gonna drop. I think I'm gonna keep. Oh wait, how are these? Wait, wedge one by one, wedge one by one. Wait, a sixteen stack? I what? That's so weird. That's such like a a random number. Why not twenty or fifty or thirty? This is thirty. All right, I'm gonna drop these. This is a level a level two controller. That's pretty cool. Already upgraded. Can I get in here? Nope. Oh, there's there's floors to this. Hold on. Okay, nothing on that level. Okay, nope, nothing up here. All right, I'm gonna do floor one first because it's not blocked by rocks. Oh, a blueprint. High voltage cables and a compact battery socket. What is that stuff for? <gasps> this is the big alternator, apparently. I'm glad I didn't upgrade my alternator because that's a lot. That's too big for my vehicle. All right, can't take a lot of this stuff. Yeah, I am... Um, Probably gonna have to drop the special wedges. I don't think I'm realistically gonna use them in like a practical way. I'm gonna keep the stuff that's gonna be practical. Wedges are for adding a lot of like detail when you're building stuff that's cool. We're 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 building stuff that's useful right now. If it was trail makers, wedges would be super useful. This looks like elevator shafts. Nothing there. Tunnel. Oh wait, did I just turn the lights on in the tunnel? No, that's over here. What lights does that turn on? I don't see the lights that are being... I, it's lighting up this area. I don't see what's being lit up. 
All right, look at all these headlamps. It says pick up, but I can't pick that up. Just so you know, I am trying. It's not working. All right, I guess I'm gonna go in this tunnel. Mm, what about the entrance though? We'll go back to the entrance at some point, okay? What did Bill mean with a bad prank? I must question him about this. Okay, the fact that... The fact that there's a dialogue option now makes me want to go back and check out the entrance. Because I think that's the way I'm supposed to go, and it's probably going to keep going for a while. So, let's get through here and see what happens. Alright, drill was worth it. Alright, we got this room. Got a light switch on. Alright, can I take that? Yes, I can take the component kit. Alright, what about this door? Use. Oh, it... That was weird. It works, though. Oh, what's this? We got some... Nope, can't take this out. Oh, here we go. Someone replaced the fire extinguisher with a banana. I don't think a banana makes a good fire extinguisher. Have you tried? Have you tried? What is this place? Oh, I just died. I got knocked out beyond repair. I'm not dead. I'm just knocked out, and the game glitches out sometimes where it doesn't let you revive. So I'm gonna just restart the game, and I should be awake. All right, we're back in action. I wanted to get over here to see if there's anything I was missing. Looks like it wasn't really worth it. Let's get out of this room. There's so much more left. Can I go through here? Okay, kind of wasn't really expecting that. There's like, I, I don't know if I'm supposed to be back here. There's ways I could go to like get on top of things I probably shouldn't be on top of. What is this all about? Where am I going right now? Okay, there's the entrance down there that I went in. And then this is the room, the other room I was in. That's the floor one. All right, let's just go back into this area. So, I went that way. We have this room. Storage. Storage sounds like a place to find stuff. All right, whoa, look at these chests. Nothing in them. Use. We have a refinery. Oh, more batteries. Yeah, my inventory is going to fill up so quick. Wait, wait, wait. Pick up raw coal. Can I put that in the refinery? Oh. I can just get it refined like this. Wait, can I like... Yep, yeah, it's in the output. I feel like it's just as fast for me to do it on my own. <laughs> Because you got to, like, wait for it. All right, but look at that. We got 140 coal. Okay, what else do we got here? More stuff I can't pick up. All right, we got those. I'm not going to refine those. I'm trying to pick up everything I can. Uh, just like my holding right click. If something was pick up a bull, it should show a little pick up thing. There's a chest up there. Use a good old toilet method. Nope. All right, well, how about the lift method? Nope. Look, I can't even, like... All right, hold on. If I do this, then I can't... And I do this... And then I do this. And then I... Okay, figured out. Yeah, component kit. Mm, not gonna pick up the soil bag. I don't even have room anymore. Look at this, I'm full. Oh, duck! Oh, right, I found duck. I almost missed that. All right, I think I've searched all the areas from the entrance. So I am glad I went over here before continuing down the other pathway. All right, now let's continue down this first floor tunnel. Oh. Good thing I brought my drill with me. I'm, I'm glad I made this. It was an afterthought to make this. This wasn't even like my plan. All right, we've got a split. So I'm gonna mark the pathway uh, with a torch. Oh, this is a dead end, isn't it? It is a dead end. Okay, we're good. Oh, the oh, I see. They're shiny. That was raw metal. It looks black, so I thought it was coal. The actual coal is not shiny. All right, it looks like there's actually nowhere to go on this side. So that makes my choice, my decision making easy. We go this way. Oh, more rock to block us. All right, it goes down. Oh, there's more water. It goes down. All right, here we go. We got some water. Another duck. Achievement unlocked. Hide and seek. Wait. No. Another dead end. No, this can't be. I thought... I thought this was where I was supposed to be going. What did I miss now? I just followed the tunnel down to here. Okay, I'm... I'm backtracking the tunnel now. Like, there's gotta be something that I missed. So, the tunnel totally said that there was, like, there was a dialogue option when I went down the tunnel. So, I was pretty sure that means I have to, I was on the right track, right? So, I went this way. I get to this intersection. I went to the right and found a dead end. I went to the left and also found a dead end. Maybe I missed something to the left then. Let's go underneath. Really a dead end. Go over here. Yeah, this is also clearly there's nothing here. And then this tunnel just ends at a dead end. All right, I've reconfirmed that the left path from the tunnel is in fact a dead end. So I'm gonna go the right path again. So I broke. Whoa. Okay, hold on. Found this 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 time. Blueberry seeds. I don't think I have any blueberry seeds. 
I don't have any more inventory space. I'm sorry, wedge blocks. I have to. All right, well, I found, I did find something that I didn't find before. So there is that. Oh, oh, I spent way too much time looking for nothing. Look at the quest update. It says question bill. I just had to get here in order to uh, progress the quest. Okay, now we go back to Bill. All right, we did it. We solved the cave mystery. Well, I mean, we, we have more questions, but we the quest is the quest has been fulfilled. We searched the cave to the satisfaction of the game. All right, now we've got to the long walk back to the entrance. I'll see you guys when I get there. All right, I have made it back successfully and forgot that I left this stuff on the ground out here. Gotta be careful about that. Oh, my inventory's full. I'm glad that wasn't like a glitch where it would delete it and then would not go anywhere. All right, we can definitely put some battery back. We got a lot of inventory stuff to manage now. Look at this, the materials. The building materials are getting out of hand here. Hey, you know what? I got a funny idea. Since I don't have headlights, I'm gonna do a little bit of this. I think, I think that works. All right, I think we are good now to head back to Bill's. Uh, I got my inventory all sorted out. Let's get some more batteries. I gotta replace this seat. I have like a an upgraded seat now. There we go. This seat right here. There's the engine. Let's turn the engine down. Let's delete that and replace it with a normal seat. Perfect. All right, I think we're ready to head back to Bill's house and question him about what we found in the mines. But first, I'm also gonna add some tail lights. Look at that. The torches are great. All right, this will uh, be slightly useful going through the forest, I think, at night. All right, let's head back to Bill's and also keep an eye out for wolves. We need to kill... I should I should really try to kill 20 wolves on the way back. So I'm going to go somewhat slow and keep an eye out for wolves and treasure chests, apparently. All right, there's a cotton thing over here. It's been a while since I've gotten cotton. Gotten cotton. So I'm just going to run through here real quick and pick up some cotton. Hope that I don't run into any bears, but hope that I do run into some wolves. Ah, wolf. Hello. There we go. Do not want any more wolf pelts. Oh my goodness. The light is like glitching out. You see that? We got a strobe light now for headlights. Hey, I just killed a wolf. Here's this wolf pelt right here. And it didn't log the thing. I killed it with my vehicle. So I guess that counts as it just died instead of me killing it. Man, I was hoping I would be able to just run over wolves and get the point for it. Guess not. Um, also, a lot of comments keep telling me that there's an oil pond by Bill's house. And I mean, I guess I just haven't really searched around Bill's house, but I've never seen it on the way out or back from Bill's. So just throwing that out there. I am on the search for a new location, though. Uh, oh, another wolf. Here we go couple of wolves. All right. Get back here. Oh, he's hitting my vehicle. Where? You? The bulls? Man, I can't believe the bulls are just aggressive towards vehicles like that. Wait, I think I need to give walk stakes for part of a quest or something. I don't know. It might be a reward. There was another wolf around here. Oh, there you are. <laughs> he's standing by the corpse of his uh, friend. Three wolves. We're making progress. All right. Well, light isn't very useful in the woods. Ah! If uh, the, the bushes are just blocking you right in your face. Yeah, this is this is terrible. These, uh, we need some opacity on these things. Well, I guess in real life, you wouldn't be able to see through them that much at all. Oh, are we there already? I actually didn't feel too bad. I only got four wolves on the way here. Oh, good news is now I can uh, bring the craft bot. I can delete the craft bot and put it in my inventory. All right, got another wolf right here. All right, how much fuel we got left? All right, not, not bad. I think without the smelter on the back, it's way more manageable for weight to fuel ratio. Oh, there's a wolf over here. Come back. All right, hey, Bill, how you doing? You're going to run into my vehicle, aren't you? <laughs> He's like, there's something other than my stuff on the, on this uh, plot of land right here. I got to go investigate with my face. All right, I got some questions for you. I looked around HQ for some info and found a secret room in the boss's room. They had a secret room? Oh, now I get why they randomly disappeared, but how'd you open the secret room? That's not our topic right now. Found some logs of the boss's conversations. They were talking about another base on this planet that wasn't bringing in enough resources. I also found the coordinates to this place's location. Where was it? It was an elevator, Bill. Going to a mine. Why am I saying that like that? They're also talking about the mines collapsing mysteriously. 
Were you able to find anything in the caves that explained the collapse thing? No, I haven't. That's why I came to you. Came to me for what? I didn't know this minor elevator existed. I can't help you with this. Yes, you can. You knew about this mine. Your friends told me about it. My friends? What did they tell you? I didn't tell them anything. You did. You also asked them to help you with your bad prank. Bad prank? No, no, what are you talking about? Was your bad prank destroying the mines? No, look, I told you I didn't know about this mine. What are you trying to say? So you mean your friends are liars? Yeah, 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 nah. Okay, yes, I do know about it. Did you cause the collapse? Yes, you got me. It was me who did it, but you need to hear me out on this. I found the mine when I was exploring. I was shocked, and as you know, Forterra isn't allowed to mine on this planet. I told the boss about it, and he told me to keep my mouth shut or that he would fire me. I kept asking him about why they were doing all this. What is Forterra supposed to be? He eventually got tired of it, and guess what? He fired me and told me to pack my stuff and get out of the HQ. However, I wanted to go out with a bang, so I asked Mark and the others to help me with something. And that was making the mine collapse. Yes, but I did make sure to blow places where I knew nobody would get hurt. You blew the mines up? That's dangerous! I know, that's why I didn't tell them what my plan was at first. Because they would have said no. Everybody would have said no to that, Bill. I mean, what can I say? Forterra wasn't a peaceful company like I thought they were. I couldn't believe they were acting like this. That really made me angry. Well, good thing nobody got hurt and they left more resources for Wonk. No, they didn't. They took most of the resources from the mine before they went. What do you mean? The mines still have a lot of resources left. This is just the tip of the iceberg. I buried most of their vehicles with the deposits. No wonder Forterra was on this planet. It has a lot of resources. I don't know if you've done something good or bad, but here we are. <laughs> yeah, we are. By the way, did you find anything in the HQ? Not much, but I did find a blueprint for high voltage cables. Oh, that's right. I don't know what that's for. There were some really big drills in the mine, and they looked very power hungry. These were probably how they fed those monsters. Well, now that I'm up for Terra, it's time to find my ship. Do you have any idea how to find it? Well, the master battery in my spaceship contains radioactive materials. If it's not shut down properly, Prob properly or damaged, it might start emitting some radioactive stuff. So you're saying we can look for the radiation emitting from your ship to find it. Lucky for you, I got a blueprint for that exact thing. You can have it. Good luck searching. Oh, that's awesome. Thanks, Bill. I'll tell you when I find it. Alright, we've got a Geiger counter. Ooh, nice. I wonder if it's gonna make the noise. Alright, I need some of my crafting stuff down again. Alright, interactive? No, tools, maybe? Here we go. Geiger counter. What is this one? All right, so we need a beacon for a Geiger counter. I have, I think, everything else for it. More metal block too. Oh no. And a radio. All right, I can craft the radio already. I'm gonna need the metal workbench for the part. I need two of these, which means I need pipe pieces. I know I got pipe pieces somewhere. All right, I finally have enough to make the beacon and Geiger counter is counting down. Oh, Bill, stop it. <laughs> All right, there we go. Geiger counter has been crafted. And now, how do we use... Do we just... Oh, we put it down? Requires power. Okay, I'll place it right there. Requires power. Oh, battery container. I probably need a battery container and hooked up hooked up to that. Maybe. I'm assuming... Wait, let's look at the description. Connects to a battery container. There you go. All right, I bet a battery container isn't going to be great to make. Um, Battery container. Oh, good thing I found... No, I found a full-on fuel container. Okay, so I need a container casing component. Do I have that? I do. I have that. I have two of these. And then I needed, what, copper block and something else? There we go. And batteries. That was easy. Well, that's happening. Let's check on our battery. 960%. We can get some more batteries there. All right, battery container is complete. Where can I fit it? Can I fit it like under there? Dang it, I can't. All right, I'll put it right there. And let's fill it with some batteries. There we go. Radiation is 0%. Okay, cool. And then I think I, I can use a switch to turn it on and off. I got a switch from the Luton. I'll put the switch over there. Hook it into that. Hook that into the seat. Yeah, so now we can turn it on, off, on, off. All right. Whoa, we have... Is that new down the bottom right? The speed? Is that the Geiger counter doing that? That... I swear that wasn't there before. Oh, it's the new seat probably has that. I didn't even notice that this whole time. All right. So with this on, how am I... Am I just supposed to travel until it starts going off? Like, is that the deal? All right. So as far as Bill's place... Uh, I don't think I've spent much time going in that direction. All right, I'm gonna actually pick up all this corn and feed it to some cows, because I do need a little bit more thirst, uh, resources. There we go, perfect. Bloop. All right, I'm gonna head in this direction and potentially look for some oil and just see if the radiation thing does anything at all. Oh, wolves. 
Here we go. Yeah, I'm looking for the ideal base location that I'm up. What? Where did you come from? He came over my vehicle. But the ideal base uh, situation that I'm looking for is an oil pond near water. Because we need water resources. Oh, excuse me, guys. Can you all come after me, please? Like everybody, everybody over here. All right, that was some decent progress on the quest. All right, I, I, just, I guess you just drive around for a little bit. Now. You just drive around for a little bit. Oh, over there looks like a desert. All right, let's check. I, th I feel like I... I drove over this part already. This looks very familiar. This looks like a tile I've been on before. Oh, Geiger counter going off. It made a horn sound, like a really high pitched horn squeak. All right, so clearly, oh boy, we're gonna go find my ship. I wasn't expecting it to actually start going off this quickly. All right, in this direction we go then. Did not find any oil there. Okay, I've definitely been over here. You can see I've killed some wolves here. There's another wolf there too. All right, we're a quarter of the way there. 25%. Where are we going? Yeah, I've I don't think I've been this far in this direction. All right, we're going into some woods here. All right, let's see. What are we looking at? How are we doing? 40%. We're almost halfway there. Definitely never been in these woods before. You can hear... The Geiger counter is squeaking some more. What are these? These trees are growing out of rocks. It seems like it's in this direction in these woods. All right, we're through the woods so on the other side. We're only about halfway there, to be honest. As we kind of did go pretty far already. It's got a big range. Hey, it's the mines. We've navigated over to the mines already. All right. So we got to drive past the mines then. Ooh, ember forest. I might want to harvest some ember while I'm here. All right, the saw blade is totally worth it to use on the ember. Really convenient. It takes four hits with the axe to take down one of these trees, but it takes like one, two, two seconds to uh, to take them down with the saw blade and it's instant pickup material. Like you don't have to keep going down and then refine or anything like that. You can just pick it up. All right, I think I got enough for now. I got one, two, three, four, 57. It's a pretty good amount. Okay, well, this is definitely an interesting area down here. 69%. We're getting there. 70%. I wonder if there's oil over here. This looks like a nice desert. 72%. Oh, we're, we're going horizontal right now, but I want to check out this desert for some oil. <gasps> I found oil and there's water nearby. Whoa, this is massive. Hold on. Let me explore a little bit here. I'm going to turn the Geiger counter off for now. There's oil up here too. This is a cooler spot. I kind of like this spot right here. I need to craft another beacon. I'm going to put a beacon here because this is potential base material. All right, beacon has been crafted. Let's put the beacon down right there. Use it for is this this water base, home base. This is, this is a base. I should should have crafted it. another beacon for my vehicle, but I'm not really like, I don't, I only, this is my only vehicle. I shouldn't really be leaving it behind. All right, and I've also crafted a bunch of metal too, just so I have more metal too now. And I think we are good. All right, no problem. Now we have this place saved, which is really nice. I think beacons, we can turn beacons on and off. Let's keep it on for now. And let's follow this Geiger counter. All right, do I go that way or that way? I think this way. It seems to go faster. It seems to count up faster when I'm pointing in this direction. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, we got to hold on. We got a gold chest here and we got three wolves over there. Too much. All right, that. Oh, another seat. Okay, let's get in. Get in, get in, get in, get in. Let's get these wolves. Oh, they're splitting up. There's two in this direction. There's five wolves here. There's all the wolves I would need. <gasps> there's a bear. There's a bear. There's a bear, there's a bear, there's a bear. Let's not go for it. Yeah, I just got complete. Oh, there's three wolves over here. Okay, okay, turn around you see that that was kind of epic all right three wolves chasing that one cow all right come on come on guys i'm right here i'm right here no don't get my stuff where's there's another wolf where's the other wolf there was supposed to be three there was three right here there you are <gasps> what are my torches are gone i only have like 50 left all right here we go all right well that was quite the detour we only need two more wolves and there was a whole bunch around here but We'll find two more wolves in no time. I feel like I've gone pretty far. I'm past the mines. I did not find oil near Bills. Oh, I see the ship. <gasps> I see my ship. I can turn this off now. It's my crashed ship. Look at this. What's happened when I approach it? 
Yes, I finally found you. Thank God. Time to see what the damage is. Oh, a wolf. And treasure chests. A bunch of treasure chests. Yeah. Oh, another wolf. This is the last wolf. All right, Bill's quest. I don't even remember what the rewards are for this quest. There we go. Another thing here. All right. Well, um, oh, is this some loot over here? There is some loot over here. There we go. Scavenge everything useful. Oh, that's the quest. It's to scavenge everything useful. All right, let's start scavenging. Yeah, there's just a bunch of chests and everything. Can I get like into the ship? It looks like there's a door back here. I can't get in there though. Did I scavenge everything useful? There must be so Oh, here we go. Here we go. I need water. I need some water. All right, well, it looks like this is gonna be a bit of a process. We gotta go get some water. Um, I don't have many buckets. I could like craft a couple of buckets or something, but uh, we've got to investigate our own ship and I'm gonna leave it on a cliffhanger with that. So make sure you subscribe so you do not miss the ship investigation. Uh, I'll be looking at the comments once again, just to make sure that I'm on the right track. Uh, let me know if you think that's a good base location. I kind of like it, I, but it just feels far away from Bill. And it seems like I'm gonna keep having to go to Bill. And I did look around Bill's a little bit and didn't find any, any oil. So it could be just like some procedural generation of maps. I've, I've seen in the comments too that some people, sometimes they have oil near bills, sometimes they don't. So I guess I got unlucky. But uh, if you guys enjoyed this episode, you'll probably enjoy some more that you can find right here on the end screen. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman and I'll see you next time. Bye.